Alright folks, and welcome back. I'm Joshua Weisel here in the Texas Tractor TV Storm Studios. Thank you for tuning in today. It is now 5 p.m. across the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. We're going to be taking a quick look at the forecast across the region. So, we're going to take a look at the rest of the day planner today. We're going to see highs continuing into the upper 70s for the next couple of hours. A low chance for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms across parts of the region, but let's be clear, not everyone's going to see this rain activity across the area. Most of us are going to be dry. Mostly to partly cloudy skies will continue throughout the evening hours into tonight with those lingering rain chances as well. So that's a look at the evening planner. And here's a look at the water vapor. And as you can see, we do have this trail of vapor making its way into the southern United States. Right sandwiched between North Texas is an area of moisture over to the east of us and to the west of us. And as this area of moisture continues to move up, that will lead to some shower and storm chances tomorrow across the region. We're also watching a area down to the south of Houston where there could be potentially a tropical depression or tropical storm down there. So we'll take a quick look at that coming up in just a minute. Here's a look at the radar across the region. Some showers and storms are making their way to the north across parts of our southern counties right now. So some of our southeastern counties could eventually make their way, uh, could eventually see some showers and storms across the region. These are not severe. This is just moderate to heavy rain at times. But for the Metroplex, we are relatively clear. Over here in Kaufman County, here's some showers that are starting to fire up, even up here into Cook County and near the Sherman area, there's some isolated showers across the region. So like we said, most of us are gonna stay dry for the rest of the day. Here's a quick look at the future radar. And as you can see, this is by midnight tonight, some isolated showers and storms across the region. This won't be uh, for everyone. Uh, but as we head into later into tomorrow, this is tomorrow morning, some isolated showers and storms across the region once again. And even though this doesn't look that impressive, we are expecting a pretty good rain chance across the region tomorrow, even though this doesn't look that widespread. So just keep that in mind. There could be uh, some more widespread showers, maybe even some heavy rain across the region tomorrow. So we'll take a quick look at that in just a second. But for now, here's a look at today's severe zone. We're not expecting any sort of severe weather across the region, uh, just some isolated showers, maybe some heavier rain showers across parts of the region. Moving on, here's a look at that 60% probability now. Instead of 40%, they raised that to 60 because there is a rather impressive area of low pressure spin down here in the western Gulf of Mexico. And we could eventually see this become into a tropical storm, maybe even a tropical depression. Uh, we're waiting to see the latest data from the National Hurricane Center. But for anyone in North Texas wondering, is this going to impact our weather? Uh, it's really not that clear at this time. But let's say this does become a tropical storm and eventually make its way to the north. That could bring some showers and storms to the region. But like we said, until there's a storm that really uh, is developed and has a track, we won't really know if this will have any sort of impact on our weather. So stay tuned for that. Like we said, keeping a very close eye on this area in the Gulf of Mexico. So here's a look at the DFW temperature trends for today across the region. There we go. And for today, 77 for a high, 79 tomorrow, and then we're going to just keep on warming up across the region all the way up to 86 by Friday, but for the next couple of days, we'll be in the low to mid 80s as we head through Thursday. So that's a look at the temperature trend. It's going to be relatively mild and warm as we head into next week. So stick around for more of the forecast coming up uh, right after this.